Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bath City Radio for today's Vanarama National League cycle match between Tunbridge Angels and Bath City and the Colson Wealth Lenny Stadium. I'm Mark Stone, commentating throughout with Matt Francis and Sunrise and GTs. The patched up Romans are back on the road for this bank holiday Saturday, while Coast and Tunbridge are unbeaten this turn for the win of two draws. A victory for Jerry Gill's team today will see them leap for the Angels in what's still early days of the campaign. Last year was Tunbridge's first home win over City since 1975. That one was at the old Angel Club up there. Only Farnborough have beaten Jay Saunders' men here since the start of March, and 11 goals witnessed in their first three games that joined high in this division. Last year it was a controversial five goal thriller in the corresponding fixture, which saw Joe Wayne to play the second half in goal. Coverage were awarded two penalties, they had a goal not given despite it being yard over the line, and Brown City had one controversial dislike of sight. So, Matt, are you expecting it to be that eventful this time, mate? <laughs> well, I mean, we've already, already had our own little dramas with coaches and arriving slightly late this morning, so. Yeah, I think it will be. I don't think there's such thing as a, an uneventful Bar City game or an uneventful game even in, the, in this division. So with everything that's gone on and the tempo we've seen to the start of this season, I think we're going to see another cracking game. I spoke to Jerry Gill pre-match, which we'll go into in a few minutes. Again, he's had to reel off the injuries. You don't want to keep using it as an excuse, but in fairness, it's, it's pretty justified to, to blame injuries at the moment. Yeah, of course, and I think I think it's, it's all about timing, I think, when you talk about injuries, because there will come a point where people will get, you know, eventually you'll have to start using what you've got and, and hope that the results come. It is frustrating, of course, it's frustrating for, for everybody, and I'm sure... You know, if Jerry had everything his, his way, he'd have all the players fit and available and, and we'd have gone into the season fully strength. But as is, I think the performances have been fairly decent, all things considered. You've got to take a lot of the stuff into account and I think the, the sort of green shoots are there and, and hopefully can start to build on those positive performances. So, Tom Ridge are going to get this game underway, attacking from right to left from our vantage point. They're also another who have adopted names on the back of their shirts. And we begin to play back to centre-back and hit over to the left-hand side. Flicked on from Vincent to Robinson. Gets, tries to get the other side of Batten, who sort of stumbles slightly and manages to clear it against Vincent. Heading back forward from Vincent. Grimes is going to try and see it behind. It's gone out for another throw in the identical spot. So that's the thing at the minute you talk about Nick Grimes there having to fill in at right back. A lot of these players that have come in haven't really had the time to play in their natural positions yet. Thrown to Harvey Wells Richards and Grimes' clearance isn't the best, only to Vincent who rolls it on the shield to. I think it was an attempted shot, but it was too close, whatever it was, to Wells Richards. But so he played themselves in a bit of trouble there. Now Button sort of shaped to go long, but fooled everyone and played it sideways to pass out. Now Wilson back to Tilson. Alves on the left. Looks like he's got Wilson in behind. He's not there before Backrin. Wide of the penalty area. He's got one Joe Smith on the inside. And now Alves has made a smart run. Alves drills it across. It nearly finds Clark at the far post. Vincent beat him to it. Puts it behind for a corner. But that off the run, off the ball movement from Alves was sublime. And it nearly led to an opener. Two arms in the air. The number 10. Right footed. Near post. F8 everyone. One Joe Smith's shot is blocked, I think, by his own player. I think Davies maybe got in the way of that. Shields. Take it, man. He got goal and an assist on there at the home game this term. Shields, right footed. And it's cleared in the end from Batten. He had Nelson closer company, sort of met it on the volley, but put it well wide of his own goal at the expense of a corner. Tunbridge's first of the game. This back three. So Ben Morgan left out this afternoon. Nick Grimes keeping his place. Wilson, that's a good flick. He's going to set Davies in on the clear. Davies, oh, he's got defenders around him. Davies got the grind, tries to lay it back to Andre Smith. Andre Smith takes over, couldn't force his way through. Davies, that's a foul just inside the penalty area on back green. And I thought that was a chance actually for Davies, but just couldn't get the composure ball. maybe. Yeah, got stuck just feet. couldn't get the ball under control. It seemed to just get, yeah, it seemed to just get stuck in his studs really as he was sort of ready to race through on goal. Wilson on halfway facing his own goal. He tried to play it back to his goalkeeper, and now Tumbridge could be away on the right hand side with Darpre. He's got 2 18 in the middle. Oh, played it across to Wards Robinson, and Grimes got there first. It was an attempted back pass from Wilson. I think it hit Button on the way through, and it nearly got Tumbridge in. Yeah, it just seemed to smack off of Batten's leg. He tries to get it, tries to get out of the way, and all it does is then deflect into the path of the Tumbridge forward. 
Humphrey Ewers with a good win behind towards Alves. Backrin's got to do some thinking. He plays it back to his goalkeeper. He's miscued it. And Davies couldn't bring it under control. It's played quite hard at him. But sort of openings through mistakes at either end. Turns away from Humphrey Ewers. Plays it to Vincent on the left. Trying to run at Clark. Clark does well. Just to step in his way. Plays against Vincent. He's passed twice. I get the official can't see through players, but you can tell by the way the ball is deflected sometimes. It's not right. The referee wants a word with uh, well, you and Clark, which means he has to call the captain over. Wanjo Smith tried to help it forward. Humphrey Ewers, Wanjo Smith near the edge of the box. Held off. Humphrey Ewers with an effort and it hits almost the roof of the Rob still stand and goes behind for a goal kick. Tumbridge again quite hard to break down, but not with footwork like this from Humphrey Ewers. Inside to Davies. Swivels back to Tilson. Wilson turning away on the edge of the box, gets a shot away. It's a dribbler and it's an easy saving Stewart, but the build up play was good. Arm in the air, he's taking his time. It's a decent oh. delivery onto the header fielding, who scored at that end last season. He doesn't score there this season. And at the break, it's Tumbridge Angels nil, Bath City nil. Now Robinson, great challenge from Batten on halfway. Took Robinson out for the time being, but Tumbridge still in possession. Alves with an equally important interception. And Tilson, that's what Jerry Gill would like to see, but he won't like to see this because Lima's picked up a loose ball on the edge of the box, couldn't sneak it through. Batten, who not only did an interception, he then sidestepped away from trouble and plays it calmly out to Davies on the right-hand side. Sums up his performance so far, he's been outstanding and Davies wins a free kick. Lima. Robinson, who's span away from Parcel on the right-hand side, now trying to run at the City captain. Inside the penalty area, he's almost outboxed himself. Played it to the edge of the box to Wagstaff, who shoots, and he puts it about 10 yards wide of Wag Richards' right-hand post. Alves holds off Santos. Parcel goes long down the left. Backrin's missed it in the air. Wilson's got it near the byline. He's waiting for support. He's got Wanjo Smith behind him, wide of the penalty area. Trying to trick Lima. Well left from Alves to Humphrey Ewers, who shoots his important block from fielding. Tilson heads it back forward. Tumbridge still initially couldn't clear their lines, and Humphrey Ewers is penalised for a foul on Shields again. Um, the head of Button, then Alves heads it inside, kept it in play, tight to the touchline. Tilson beats Santos. Humphrey Ewers dinks it over the top, it's a good ball, Davies can get onto it, the goalkeeper's in no man's land, Davies forced wide, the angle's really against him, hence why he hasn't found the back of the net, Wilson is saying that he should have played it inside to him, but I think he was sort of knocked off balance, Davies, probably around five yards in from the byline, and he sort of spooned it wide. It's a chance, and it, I mean, it doesn't say a lot, but it may well be the best chance of the game. He's, he's just shanked at it because he's, he's rushing. I mean, it's quite poor goalkeeping, actually, from Stewart because he races out, and I'm not sure he needs to. It's a, but it's a clever ball over the top from Humphrey Ewers and just a little sign of life for Bath City there, which is, which is much needed because the game has gone a little bit stale again. Now back to Hansen. Over to the right side to Lima. He's managed to get there before Alves. Turned inside. Cross now to Shields. Shot is blocked from Parcel. Ricochets towards the edge of the area. Vincent, you have Maloney behind him. Vincent goes for Vincent attempted shot. It's brought around the applause from those around us. It was too close to Wild Richards. It's only their second attempt on target the whole game. Still no now. Humphrey Ewers picks up a loose ball in midfield, takes a couple of touches. I don't think he intended to. He's given the ball away to Shield. And now Vincent on the left. Good interception. Oh, I thought it was a good interception from. Davies, so did Jerry Gill, who, uh, for his protests, is going to get a talking to at the very least. He might be the first person in the book in this game, actually. It's a, it's a surprising one there. I'm just not entirely sure what the referee's seen in that challenge. I don't know if it's the way that Vincent's gone down, but, yeah, I think Davies is really unlucky there. Ewan Clark goes down. Referee's not interested. Maloney striding forward to Clark on the left-hand side. Received it from Hansen, actually. Now, Shields trying to make an angle for a shot near the edge of the box. Played it to the left-hand side to Clark, who's belted it quite high into the air, and Wiles Richards plucks it out nicely. Headed from Lima to Alves. Up into the air for Davies. Wanjo Smith picks up the loose ball. Now Humphrey Ewers near the edge of the box. Again, so many bodies in his way, he couldn't have a pot shot. Clark on the right, plays it back to Humphrey Ewers. He might have one now, he does, left-footed. Again, it's blocked from Fielding, hit into the ground. 
from uh, it Tilson and it's gone wide. And the, the bounce deceives Wando Smith, much to his annoyance. Santos turns away from Humphrey Ewers. Tumbridge got five players in front of him for this attack. Managed to run Shields, who's onside. Parcel gets a challenge in and wonderfully timed on Parcel. Had it not been, middle in one on one. Shields, no arguments. He, know he knows that the City captain won the ball, unlike there, where there's going to be a free kick for the Romans on halfway. And uh, I think it's going to be a first yellow card for an outfield player. I think Hansen. Lots of players bunched on the edge of the box, which is where it's aimed for. Grimes heads it back across goal. Wanjo Smith now. Wanjo Smith, great block from Maloney. He's back to Wanjo Smith, though. And a follow-up block from Vincent behind for a corner. Yeah, more good defending, and this time from Tombridge. The City right, Ewan Clark, right-footed. Uh, helped into the air, and their goalkeeper's... Oh, and a minimal contact from Wilson's gone down. It didn't lead to a telling chance anyway, but Tombridge have a free kick in their own box. Tumbridge attacking the goal to our right. Hanging one towards the back post. Backrin heads it back into a good area. And again, it's come off a City head. Another corner. Croydon-born centre-back. Lima on the right-hand side. He's got Clark waiting in the middle. Squares it across to Clark. And it, Clark didn't really react to it sharply. He's gone behind for a goal kick. It was almost in slow motion. Thrown short to the trial for viewers. That's the final action of the game. It finishes Tunbridge Angels nil, Bar City nil. It's only the second time that Bar City have kept a clean sheet away to Tunbridge in their 25th visit in Tunbridge. It's the first time they've drawn three in a row in National League side since April 2014. No real clear cut opportunities throughout. Bar City massively injury hit they'll probably take a point from this game because of the circumstances neither goalkeeper overly tested it's not a game in truth which will live long in the memory but hey ho a point gained and uh, city head into the game against hampton original monday with four points from four and they'll be looking to maybe pick up three then tom ridge nil bar city nil your thoughts matt i mean look it's one of those games that they're going to happen throughout the season. This is a this is a busy weekend. It's a busy period in general. Bar City have a lot of injuries. It's not really been a massive thing today because the game I don't think would have been shifted that much. Whoever had come on, it's just one of those performances that lacked anything from from either side. To be honest, there was really good defensive qualities shown. I think Jack Batten, as we've mentioned, really stood out. An imperious performance from him at the back, which he so often shows. So. I think there'll be frustration that they've not been able to do some more, but at the end of the day, that these, these sorts of grounds, it, it, any, any point away from home that you're able to take in this division is a positive one. So I think out of the two sides, Bath City will go home happier. Thank you very much for accompanying me this afternoon. Matt, where uh, the 50th meeting between Tunbridge Angels and Bath City was arguably the most forgettable. It finishes Tunbridge Angels nil, Bath City nil, a rather tepid tussle here in Tunbridge. City will be hoping to bounce back on Monday when they host Hampton and Richmond Boroughs, we just alluded to. It'll be Alex Lane, Kelsk and Andrew Kerslake behind the mic for that on Bath City Radio. Enjoy your bank holiday weekend and do tune in again on Monday.